Miracles and Me, Chapter 3 A Snake Talking to Me When I was young, we owned a house at Homeside Subdivision and it's on top of the hill. There were lots of snakes that time and again shows up either on the streets or around our lawn or garden area. My dad got a repair shop under our house. It's like a small shed with a vertical slat or slab that's got gaps or space in between. It's like a DIY door. And I think we are using a chain and padlock to close that door. He's got toolbox, chest of drawers, cabinets, etc. in that shop. One time, my brother and my dad were on a mission and I didn't know what it was until my brother told me what had happened. He said our dad asked for assistance downstairs in his repair shop because in one of the drawers there was a snake and he wanted to get rid of it so he can use the shop as well as the tools that's inside that drawer. Don't know exactly what happened and how they done it because it was too vague for me to remember but they safely managed to let the snake out. Another incident that I can remember was the story where chickens in our surrounding neighbors were reported missing. It's like every night, one or two neighbors will mention someone stole their chicken. Until one night, one owner found the culprit. It was a massive python swallowing the entire chicken. The sad part was that the python was trying to escape and cross the road on a truck run over it. But I think some of the guys might have deliberately killed it as well because quite a few of their chickens disappeared and thought it was that python eating them. Then, some of the kids were talking that the remains of that python was thrown in the canal. And as a young child, I used to love playing in that canal. And if there's no water in it, because sometimes due to drought, I used to go down and play in there. It's because I was small back then, so it feels like it's massive. I love climbing up and sliding down in it. But when they said about that story, I was scared to go down that canal anymore. Now, another interesting story about the snakes at our house was when I was sat on the stairs of our balcony. I was looking at the bamboo when suddenly a snake came over to me. The color of the snake was red and then like white or slightly yellow belly. Something different and unique because usually it's green snake, brown or black that we see or encounter in that house. So the next thing that happened was the snake raised its head facing me and it felt like it was talking to me. We were staring at each other. I didn't realize that my mom saw it and got alarmed and worried why a snake facing me and it's like it's about to bite me. The tongue was out and almost at the height of my face. Then our neighbor whom we call Bulalo got a bolo with him and I don't even know how he get so near to us. Perhaps my mom shouted help to him. All I can remember at that time was it felt like I was hypnotized by the snake. We were just staring at each other. Then the next minute, Bulalo chopped the head of the snake in front of me. That's when I snapped back to reality. My mom pulled me up to the balcony. Everyone was scared. Bulalo threw the snake on the plant at our garden. I can see it through our window. I just kept looking at it. Don't really know if it's pity or fear of the snake, but I kept staring at it by the window. Few hours later, or probably late afternoon, the snake disappeared. I went down and looked for it. Even the chopped head of the snake that was thrown on the ground disappeared. However, suddenly I saw the same color or looking snake that's alive and slithering towards the bushes. But yeah, it seems like that snake came back to life and just went away. Until now, I can't really understand what happened. I always thought of it especially when I watched Harry Potter and it was a very peculiar incident in my life as if I was communicating to a snake. It was more like mental communication and it was like understanding each other 
through staring. I can't really explain that incident and where the snake disappeared as well. Also, I tried researching on the color of the snake, which is red and yellow belly, and it seems like it's super rare.